Hey there, Justin Chamness, and welcome. This is the live show broadcast Wednesday at noon central time right here on the free real estate wholesalers and lease options mentoring group on Facebook. And we replay on seven, seven o'clock on YouTube Wednesday night, central standard time. Welcome today. We are talking about how to stay focused while being distracted. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump right into it. I hope everybody uh, can uh, participate today. Uh, come on in and let's chat it up. Let's chat it up and have a good time. I hope everybody's having a good week. I want to talk about staying focused while being distracted because there is no way to eliminate the distractions in your life. There's just no way to do it. You can't get rid of all of them. You can minimize distraction, but you're still going to have some distraction. Now, I've talked about in previous, uh, previous shows how we are not supposed to be getting distracted with buying every new shiny program and every new mail blaster program and all the newfangled marketing techniques and all of the things that are, that are being pushed out here onto us to purchase. Um, we're not supposed to be getting distracted with those things. We're not supposed to be getting distracted with the ideas like having a new car because it's not necessary to get to your first deal. You're not supposed to get distracted with the things that, that, that pull you away from the process and the step-by-step -step, uh, steps of just getting to your first deal, getting that shut-up money. You know, We've talked about the shut-up money before. The shut up money, the first check, getting that first deal, getting that, that shut up money where you can say, hey, listen, it works. Shut up. I made it work and I'm going to keep making it work. And now you really, really, really believe in the process yourself as well. So getting to that first shut up money, you've got to eliminate a lot of distractions and you get better at this, I find, in time as you run your business. But you also we'll have to do a check every now and then and just say, Hey, you know, am I too distracted with stuff that ain't making me money? It's not the step by step process. It's not, am I investing all this time as just invested time or am I investing this time as profitable time? And that's really what you want to do is spend all the time that you can investing in profitable time, getting that profitable time, invested so that you can get that money back. Things that you do that get money returned back into your business. Those are the things you want to stay focused on and eliminate or minimize at least at best the distractions. Now, I want to bring up spousal and partner relationships. Okay. And I'm talking about the people that you live with. I'm not talking about business partners or folks that you work with. I'm talking about the people that you live with, your significant other or your spouse or your partner and how you should be dealing with them and the business. And I find this to be a humongous uh, business killer and uh, a life stealer, okay, is when your spouse just doesn't understand what you're doing. Now, let me tell you how I did things with my spouse. I, I shared with my spouse that I am working on a project. I am working on something and you're going to notice me being in my office or being in this other room for a little bit longer times than normal. You're going to see me here every evening for an hour or two working on this project or this, this business idea that I have that I just can't get away from. And I appreciate you letting me have just a little bit of time to work on these things because I really think this is what's best for me and my family, for us as a family and as a couple. Now, with that being said, I do have a very supportive spouse and I love her for that. And I could never have anyone be more supportive than my spouse is supportive of me and my business ventures. But I also did take the time to explain to her not how the business works. That's not important, but that she was the priority, that the family being benefited and blessed by a new business idea that I just can't seem to get out of my mind and I just want to try out. I want to work this a little while. And she seemed to be uh, very accepting of that. And I, 
I think most reasonable spouses would be accepting of that concept because you are doing it for the right reasons. Okay. You're doing it for the benefit of the family. And if they see you working hard on something and focused on something like maybe they haven't noticed you being as focused on something before, I'm here to tell you in some cases that might even be a freaking turn on. All right. Because now you're really standing up and you're going for something. And believe me, that can be a very attractive quality. Now you might be with someone who doesn't understand that. And maybe you're not even with the right person, but a lot of times the spouse will be understanding of you needing some extra time away into the office or other things like that. Uh, you know, investing in it and a concept, an idea, a business that, that you want to, to bring returns back into the household and into the family so that you're making money and, and not just talking a good story, but you actually have something that tangible. And, and what I'm talking about is some of this shut up money and you can, you know, show them this, Hey, listen, this is, this is the light bill right here. This is, this is the light bill mama. And, uh, Hey, hey, mama, this is, hey, this is just for some, some extra groceries this week. And, and, and hey, uh, you know what, you know, that car payment that you've been worried about, um, uh, by the way, here you go. Here's a little bit of money for that. And, uh, and I know we got, what we got, we got the mortgage. We got, what, 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 what we got going on now? Uh, hey, hey, mama, what, what, what's happening now? Do you think she's supportive? You're damn right. She's supportive. Why? Because you're doing something for the family, right? You're helping support the family and you're bringing home the shut up money. Okay. If your spouse is bugging the hell out of you because you can't seem to, to get the business going, the best thing in the world for you to do is to get focused and to be serious about it and to spend as little time as you have to spend doing the business. And I can tell you, it's going to be less than two hours a day. If you can squeak two hours a day into your business, one hour before work, one hour after work, you can bring home some shut up money. And now mama ain't got a problem in the whole damn world. Now, that's just my philosophy. When I started bringing home some checks, Mama said, yeah, you know, you're on to something. Well, I call my wife Mama, all right? And I love my Mama. I love my Mama very much. <laughs> all right. How to stay focused while distracted. Spouses can be distracting. When I have my office door closed, my spouse understands I'm probably on a important call and she, I'm not to be interrupted with children or pets or her. And if, and if and I'm in for a long time, she might peek in and just check on me and I'm okay with that. She'll see that I'm busy doing something and she'll leave me alone. Why? Because she knows the activities that I'm engaged in right at the time are all about bringing home some of this, right? Bringing home some of this shut up money. So, it's okay, but I have this, uh, 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 I've had this discussion, see? So you minimize your distractions by effective communication with your spouse, with your partner, your significant other, whoever that may be, your mama, your mama, your mom, <laughs> your mom, not my mom, your mom. Okay. Now, the second thing that I want you to catch on staying focused while distracted is, is yes, that's how you minimize distractions through effective communication, but you're still going to be distracted. So you're going to have to have a system of organization. And I've talked about this before. I've talked about it being Trello. Trello.com is what I use. And I'm going to show you right now because YouTube, because Facebook is, is messing me up on the broadcast and I can't do screen share or any of my cool broadcaster software. I don't know what's up with Facebook, but I've got to show you right here in the old ancient way of just showing you my phone because Facebook has me limited to that today. But I have an app called Trello. And I don't know if you can see the little icon, but it's spelled T R E L L O. And Trello is basically a list building and organizing system, a to-do list type thing. And I've had, I've done a show on this before and I've shown you exactly what Trello is. Trello is my, it's my boss. I work for the list. I don't have to struggle to remember what needs to be done tomorrow based on conversations I had with people today, because when I had the conversation with people today, I wrote it down in my Trello. You can see I have several lists, okay? 
These are all lists. And one is called property leads. What do you think that list has? It has all of the property leads that I'm working on. And you can see I have a little system of cards where I organize everything. And I can, there's a property lead, there's a property lead, there's a property lead, there's a property lead, there's a property lead. These are all the property leads I'm working on with all the pertinent information. And here's also an important detail. When I'm outsourcing my business and I'm letting virtual assistants have pieces of the work and I'm letting maybe a personal assistant do some things to help me out, it's easy for me to share my Trello with them. So if I have an acquisitions team, which I do, and I, and I need them to be able to work on Trello and I need to be able to see what the property leads are, guess what? I can give them access to the property leads board and we can all work off of the same board together. Now, I also have private lists, private boards, so that they don't have access to that. And that's Justin's personal to-do list, day to day. I could show that to you. And it's, it's got today is Wednesday and it has 12 noon. I need to be on the live show. Okay, at 7 p.m. I need to upload to social media the live show. Okay, I don't, I don't need to remember that. All I need to do is check my phone and it will tell me what I need to do today. So it doesn't matter if I'm hugely distracted. I can be hugely distracted, but because I'm organized on my phone, on the Trello board, Trello.com, it's free. I'm not an affiliate, okay? I'm not selling Trello. I'm just telling you the shit works, man. I, I don't have to think about nothing because I got it written down. I know when things are due. And I know when people say they're going to promise me to do something, I write it down and I know what day, okay? And I know what's supposed to happen in my life so that I can go to a party tonight and I can have a great time and not think one damn thought about what I have to do tomorrow because I already have it written down and planned out and tomorrow will take care of the things of itself, right? I'm going to look tomorrow morning when I get up and I go to the bathroom and I'm sitting on my throne. I'm going to look at my list and I'm going to say, hmm, those are the things I need to do today. Yep, that's right. I remember that. Oh, oh, yep. Mm, I'm going to call that guy. I'm going to mail that guy. I'm going to send out that email. Mm -hmm. I'm going to market this property. I'm going to call these other three JV partners. Oh, yep, sounds good. And as things flow in to me today to do, I either put them in on today or I'll write them on tomorrow or for the next day. And you can see on the Trello board, I'll just swipe across and look at whatever day and I can look at what my plans are for the whole week, for the whole month. I have the property leads board. We use that like a CRM so that we can manage our property leads as a team. I have a Eagle Beaver board, which is the corporate business board, all right? And all, what it has is it has all of my corporate business information listed on it and all of the, the goals for the business and all of the things that we're trying to accomplish. And I, I don't need to remember all the passwords and I don't need to remember all the login information and all the websites and all the tools and all the, the, the people that are bird dogs. And I don't need to remember all the JV partners names and I don't need to remember all the property addresses. I don't need to remember because I have it written down on my Trello. You have to create some system for yourself in order to stay organized or you will become quickly overwhelmed with property addresses, with was this three bedroom, two bath? Was this three bedroom, one bath? Oh, shoot. I can't, did it have a basement? Were we thinking about the basement having room for more space or was that the attic? If you write things down on your Trello, then it's always with you either on your laptop, your computer, or wherever you may be. As long as you have internet connection through data service or through Wi-Fi, you can get onto your Trello board, your team, can be on Trello with you from anywhere on the globe. My acquisitions team is not in-house. They are out of house. They are outsourced. And some of them I have never even met. We work on Trello every single day. Every single day. This is how you manage a business. You manage your business by having systems to stay focused on money making tasks while you're being distracted with all the bullshit of life okay you have to develop a system you don't have to use trello you can use a day planner you can use a calendar you there's lots and lots of options for you out there i know trello works for me again i'm not selling trello i'm just telling you what works hey what's up cameron what's up scott so 
you have to develop some type of system. And if Trello works for you, then use Trello. If something else works for you, use that. But that's what you have to do. Otherwise, you get real, real overwhelmed. Very overwhelmed. And when you're overwhelmed, guess what your spouse thinks? Bringing it back home to where we started. Oh, he's overwhelmed by this. And oh, you see how he's so stressed out. And yeah, he's working so hard at it. But it's just, I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, don't you want him to think you're a winner? Don't you want him to think you're a winner? Don't you want to be the hero? Don't you want to kill some shit and drag it to the cave and cook it up so the cave woman in there, the cave woman inside your woman can think you're a fucking hero? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Why? Because that's when all the good stuff happens. When she thinks you're the hero, oh, yes. Oh, yes. It can be very worth it. Very, very worth it. All the pain and all the struggle. Absolutely. But if they see you stressed out and disorganized, they're going to be the first one to poo-poo your dream. Fact. Fact. Got to stay focused. This is paramount. Organizing, staying organized, staying focused. Through the distraction, through the tests, sometimes they'll test you. you Got to stay focused through the test. And when they find that your character is true, love abounds. Love abounds. <laughs> and I love you. Some of you probably haven't heard that recently, but I just want you to know I love you. And it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Your woman is a killer. Mine is too, brother. My woman's hardcore. I love her for that. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Happy Easter, guys. I love you all. I, I don't have anything else to talk about other than the four weeks to your first deal is getting launched here in about a week and a half, two weeks. First week in May. Four weeks to your first deal. I wish I had a, a band that could write me a jingle. Four weeks to your first deal. Instead, I'm sitting over in the corner. Four weeks to your first deal. Four weeks to your first deal. Four weeks to your first deal. I know they can do it. Yeah. I totally believe you can. And I know you can. Most of it is getting out of your own way, getting a system in place, to stay organized, and just doing the steps. Doing the steps. It's that simple, man. If it was rocket science, would this country boy be doing that? No. I'm from Kentucky. Right? The only thing that came out of Kentucky that you guys know is the Beverly Hillbillies, right? Oh, Uncle Jed, <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. I, I, don't have a, I don't have a big degree and I don't have rich parents, but I do know I can follow a recipe on the back of a box, and that's what you have here. It's all about getting, under, you know, getting focused while you're distracted minimizing those distractions and getting focused and just doing this stuff just doing it you got to get crazy with nothing ain't you know people are like i need to learn a little more because i'm going to make some mistakes you know like i said before ain't nobody gonna die ain't nobody gonna die because you decided to try some stuff ain't nobody gonna die <laughs> love you man happy easter scott cameron love you dudes Love everybody. We'll talk to you soon.